team and team motivation. We talked earlier on about uh, the importance of a team, the importance of the roles and the responsibilities in a team. Now, how do we motivate as managers a team and how do we get motivated by our managers if you are part of a team? I think there are two key issues. One is about leadership and the other one is about empowerment. What do I mean by leadership and empowerment? Leadership is the capability as a manager, as a director, to actually give the emphasis to the importance of being together and why we should be doing something. It's August the 2nd, a new project has come up. We need to finish it up by August the 20th. Everybody has booked their holidays. We need people to be there. What do you do? First of all, you should lead by example, which means if everybody else needs to work, you need to work yourself. You cannot just go away and let the others work. The second thing is be clear on the tasks they should be doing, we should be doing, everybody should be doing, and also try to make sure that if it's a holiday period, they still get some out of it. Or maybe you take it in terms. In any case, you need to make sure that everybody's on board. The second issue, which I think is really key, to the success of a team, particularly in a difficult situation, is empowerment. Empowerment is, I am going to give you the responsibility of coming up with this particular issue, coming up with this solution, coming up with these new ideas. And it's going to be your idea, you are going to think about it, you're going to develop it, and you're going to make sure the results are visible, tangible and good. Abbiamo appena usato due termini, uno è leadership, l'altro è empowerment. Leadership credo che sia un termine che viene usato correntemente nella lingua italiana, però se vogliamo tradurne perlomeno il significato è veramente motivare e trascinare, coinvolgere un team in maniera che si lavori insieme. E nella parola leadership c'è lead, quindi in un certo senso è una persona che è a capo e che organizza, ma lo organizza insieme con il suo team, con la sua squadra. La seconda parola che abbiamo usato è empowerment. Empowerment in italiano è una traduzione un po' lunga perché è il concetto di responsabilizzare, però nella parola empowerment c'è power, cioè si responsabilizza dando il potere alla persona alla quale lo si confida di creare qualcosa da solo per il beneficio della squadra.